can you get a boob job and still be a feminist? Bodily autonomy is one of the central pillars of modern feminism. It underpins discussions about consent, about abortion and sexual harassment. But has this feminist concept been unwittingly adopted to support the rise of cosmetic surgery? Or should we accept that bodily autonomy means we can't question cosmetic procedures becoming a norm? 92% of people in the UK who get cosmetic surgery are women. And while breast augmentation is overall the most popular procedure, in 2018, the fastest growing in popularity were liposuction and facelifts. And non-surgical treatments like dermal fillers or Botox have seen a massive rise over the past few years. And they now account for nine out of 10 cosmetic procedures. 52% of women aged 18 to 34 say they're interested in potentially getting tweaked by a non-natural means. Is social media to blame? Last year, almost half of Brits thought social media had made non-surgical treatments more of an everyday beauty procedure. But there's also the Love Island effect on women's interests. It was coined after clinics reported a 200% rise in demands for procedures like lip fillers in an attempt to achieve the enhanced look of contestants on the reality show. Take Love Island contestant Megan Barton Hansen. From the age of 19, she's undergone a series of cosmetic procedures, including a boob job and regular lip fillers. It was Megan's appearance on the show that is said to have sent many women scurrying to the clinic under the influence of the Love Island effect. She's extremely open about her choice to have surgery and argues that getting surgery is a form of self-love. It's a woman's right to feel empowered in her body. And if surgery helps that, we shouldn't question it. So, can you balance getting a nose job and being a feminist? Fourth wave feminist ideology is being reframed to actively support getting cosmetic procedures through language of empowerment. It's coincided with the rise in accessibility and affordability of cosmetic procedures. The result is that discussions surrounding nip and tucks are being more frequently shut down using a woman's right to bodily autonomy as a defense. Is surgery empowering? Or is it patriarchal pressure that has twisted women into conforming to look a certain way? Only now there's a simple injectable fix that means women can achieve their desired look with minimum fuss or consultation. Perhaps in some cases, it is empowering for someone to get surgery, to feel comfortable in their skin. But for many, the insecurities they seek to fix are directly related to consuming a stream of imagery of cosmetically altered faces and bodies. Just because something involves women does not make it feminist. And while it's obviously a woman's right to choose what she does with her body, there could be more questions raised about what other pressures have influenced her cosmetic choices.